Hello, and welcome to this preview of Teradata Possible LA 2024. I'm Rob Streche, Managing Director with the Cube Research. Today, we'll give you a preview of the things to come when we're live from LA on October 8th. To help me preview Teradata Possible LA, I'm excited to be joined by Jacqueline Woods, who's the CMO of Teradata. Welcome on board, Jacqueline. Thanks, Rob. It's great to be here. Yeah, I, I, we got to do this last year. I'm even more jazzed about this year. I mean, we're, we're knee deep in things like AI and you know what, data fuels AI. Uh, and you know, possible is really about what's possible with that data from all that I know, uh, you know, Teradata is doing Teradata possible. You had your first one you did over in EMEA in London uh, earlier in September. What are some of the key things organizations should be excited about when they're showing up and tuning in to Teradata Possible LA? There's a lot to be excited about when you come to Possible in LA because as you know, Rob, Teradata makes it possible. So we like to talk about the innovation that we have with our product. We're gonna be talking about our product, product roadmap. I'm really excited for our chief product officer to share that with you. Um, we'll talk about some of the trends and visions we see for the future, and that will be delivered by our chief executive officer, Steve McMillan. Um, and then I'll be talking about some of the things that we've learned from some of our own research and surveys, particularly on AI and the use cases that we have uh, for AI, and really some practical and meaningful ways that you can implement AI now for customer value. Yeah, it makes sense, and I, I think it. You know, you were you were telling me uh, just the other day when we were kind of prepping for this. That one of the really interesting things was that it's being done in LA, and one of your uh, very fascinating uh, customers is you know the LA Clippers and the Intuit Dome. And tell me a little bit more about that, and you know, kind of the innovation that's gone into that, and what people can expect uh, to hear about when they're at Possible next week. Well. Two things, uh, we have two major partnerships that we have with with what I would call sports teams. One is with the uh, New York Giants, uh, which is, as you know, an NFL team in New York. Uh, the uh, lead data and analytics leader will be on stage with Steve McMillan talking about customer and fan experience and how we use data to help them deliver a better fan experience and optimize the opportunities for their fans. And as you mentioned, we are so excited. Uh, we just did a partnership with the Los Angeles Clippers and the Intuit Dome, and we are the official cloud data and analytics partner for the Intuit Dome and the Los Angeles Clippers. And um, that's tremendously exciting. And as you know, it's one of the newest venues uh, and pretty much it's all done on data and AI. So most of what you see at the Intuit Dome is is really the underpinnings of why data is so important because once you're in that arena, you actually don't need anything but your eyes um, because most things are done on biometrics. So it's a, it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful way to use analytics data and insights to deliver a better customer experience. And we're happy to be part of the, the ability to do that. So so one of the other things I was looking through, uh, the schedule, there's so many great topics that are being talked about. And some of the big themes that I pulled out of it was really data governance, cloud, efficiency at scale, the role of AI with BI, and working with LLMs and a, a whole lot more. What do you hope that attendees really walk away from Teradata Possible in LA thinking about and, you know, really aiming to implement? Well, I think every day we think about our customers' customers. What is it that our customers are trying to deliver to their end-user customer? And when you focus on innovation, when you focus on driving deeper engagement, better customer experiences, how do you deliver more efficient uh, use of your resources at scale, um, whether that's a large bank or a hospital, a number of Banks will be customers that will be on stage speaking, uh, healthcare companies as well, really talking about how they're using Teradata 
and its trusted data to really deliver on the expectations that they have to deliver great experiences for their clients. And at the end of the day, you know it's about impact, right? It's about impact and value. And so we really want uh, attendees to walk away feeling empowered, uh, feeling that they can now do what they thought was impossible. We do make it possible and, and really be inspired to do new things and take their companies to new heights. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a great uh, way to look at it because I think especially with AI being so trendy, it's how do you get your ROAI out of that and how do you really get to production? Uh, we see in some of the data that we have, actually it's 80, 82%, I think, still uh, are within POCs from a perspective of uh, you know, getting their, uh, I guess you could say, different use cases out. Maybe they have one use case implemented, but they have so many more and, you know, trying to figure out how do they see the ROI at the end of the day. The art of what is possible uh, definitely is a big piece for them. And I'm sure that that's a lot of what, you know, those sessions will be helping them get and gather that data that they can take back to the shop with them. At the end of the day, it's about creating value. And, um, you know, everything has a hype cycle, in, including AI. And so we're probably on the other side of that cycle where there probably is uh, some disillusionment because of the lofty promises. But what we are delivering are really real use cases with real data, with real value uh, that can be implemented now. And so the reality of AI is, is tremendous, uh, but we all have to do our part in making that uh, which people believe they can do, making that a reality because doing it across an enterprise and making sure that you can deliver it to an enterprise is really where you're going to unlock the value for your customer and for your company. Yeah, no, I, I think that is exactly what we see uh, everybody really trying to get out of there as they get to the, because data, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Teradata is, uh, got some of the key customer data for some of the largest corporations in the world. And again, you know, helping them do more with that and be able to get that out there is, is a huge piece of it. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, any last words that people should be looking forward to with possible? Well, if the weather's going to be warm, we're going to have a good time and you're going to be really excited to see all the innovation coming from Teradata this year. And I can't wait to see you in Los Angeles. Same here. I'm, I'm very excited to be getting out there and, uh, you know, really looking forward to it. You know, we're, we're T minus like six days now. So it's like just around the corner. So uh, really excited. And I wanted to say Thank you for joining us, Jacqueline. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you really soon. I'll see you, you know, a couple days here. See you in a few days. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for joining us on this preview of Teradata Possible live from LA 2024. We're going to be broadcasting live on the 8th, but Teradata Possible starts on the 7th and goes through the 10th. If you can make it there in person, if you can't, Join us here on The Cube, the leader in high-tech enterprise news and analysis. See you soon.